burning extremely close to the city of Flagstaff. That fire started six miles north of Flagstaff yesterday with a large plume of smoke. You see it right there. It was just a month ago, the fast moving tunnel fire destroyed homes and forced folks to evacuate. Right now, the pipeline fire has followed a very similar path. Good morning. Welcome everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Scott McDonald and I'm Emily Pritchard. A man has been arrested and is facing federal charges in connection with this fire. Team 12's Michael Downa joining us live this morning near Flagstaff and Michael, what do we know about this suspect so far? Yeah, what we know is that he was last seen actually driving a white pickup truck away from where this fire started. He's 57 year old Matthew Riser and is on two federal charges. However, a lot of the details about specifically what he may or may not have done are not being released at this point in time because while well, they're still trying to investigate what extent and what intent may have been behind all of this. But for now, while well, people are left to deal with the consequences and a lot of it is to deal with this wind. Quite frankly, we are hoping this wind would have died down. It has not. This is about as strong as we've seen it. And what we're left with right now is you can see the smoke behind me. And if we move off to the right, well, all this area you see is in the evacuation zone. That's hundreds of people that have been forced to evacuate and talking to the folks who had to leave their homes. Well, they are frustrated that all of this may have been caused by human hands. And this fire is really being pushed by these winds right now that are almost being pushed through the Schultz Pass, acting as a funnel, pushing it off to the northeast. And while thankfully no uh, structures or houses have been uh, destroyed at this point in time, people are frustrated that they're having to go through the evacuations again and wondering when they can return home. I wish it didn't happen because again, we just had the tunnel fire and had to deal with that as well in the same exact area that it's going. But <sighs> I, yeah, super frustrating. Like, that's all I can say is I'm just really angry at the person. I'm glad he's caught. But I think there needs to be some accountability uh, when people do this sort of thing. Uh, they need to understand they're gonna, there's going to be consequence. And the big focus today is going to be on these winds. With them blowing this intensely, you can expect the fire to move quite rapidly. Right now, they're heading towards the northeast, which thankfully is away from a lot of residential areas. But as we talked with officials already, these winds can change at a moment's notice. And if they switch, well, that's when some residential areas could be in danger. So make sure you are aware of what's going on and make sure you stay up to date as this fire continues to progress throughout today and into this evening. We're live in Flagstaff. Michael Doudna, 12 News.